Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to test your controller in Steam and see if the buttons work. You can test every button. So we can go to settings right here and then go on down to controller and go to test device inputs and begin the test. So my controller is plugged in right now. And if I press maybe the R2 button, you can see it showing up in the bottom right, right trigger. I got my left trigger. Then I can press the triangle button, the O button X, I can tap this right thumbstick in. I can move the thumbstick around. And then I don't know if the PlayStation button works. What about the mic mute button? That works too. The touchpad works. And it's actually showing up the touchpad location, options, the D-pad, left bumper, right bumper. So it looks like every single button works on my controller. And it's nice under this screen, I can see if there's any kind of stick drift. If I look at the right stick joystick, if I have a number like this or something, that means I have stick drift. So if I just leave it sit, it's set to zero, zero, I have no stick drip. Now, if you do notice that you have any kind of movement on your joysticks, you can back out under this screen. So let's hold it back out. Hold O to exit, hopefully, and see if it works. And then we can go to calibration and advanced settings and open this up right here. And here are the options for my dead zone. So I can just adjust this slider to the point where it eliminates stick drift on the screen. I can press triangle and I can move this around and test it within this little menu. Then I can go to the same thing for gyro. I can calibrate it right here. If I lay it flat, I'll put settings if I want the game rumble on or off, and then I can change the color of the LED lights on the controller right here. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.